Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Haris Jafri and today we are going to solve another problem with the help of uh, Python programming language. Uh, so let's have a look at the problem. Uh, it's, it's solved by Haris Jafri and the source of this problem is indeed SoloLearn. So it's a good platform if you want to check it out. I highly recommend it. So the problem is as follows. You and your friend like to share YouTube links all throughout the day you want to keep the track of all the videos you watch in your personal notepad but you find that keeping the entire link is unnecessary keep the video ID the combination of letters and numbers at the end of the link in your notepad to slim down the URL now they have given given us the task which states that create a program that passes through a link extracts and outputs the YouTube video ID alright so uh, the input format which the program is supposed to take is as follows a string containing the URL to a YouTube video the format of the string can be in this format so this is one of the formats and it can be in this format so there are two different formats uh, in which the program can take the YouTube link so one of them is uh, is a proper format HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash watch question mark V is equals to and then there is a uh, a uh, complete video ID and the shortened version is uh, https colon forward forward slash u2 dot be forward slash and then there is uh, a video id so you we have to create a program that can take uh, the uh, a string and we can expect any 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 of the both types all right so we can expect the string to be of this format and our program can expect a string of this format now if when we receive the, the such a format what is the output we are supposed to give or the program necessarily is supposed to give so the output format is as follows a string containing the extracted YouTube video ID so I believe they are talking about this or they are talking about this alright so they have indeed given us a sample input and a sample output so the sample input is as follows they have given us a YouTube URL and if you can see this last characters R R W and ending with 5 V U this is indeed the sample output so we have to write a program that can uh, that can input that uh, that can input a YouTube video URL and that is supposed to uh, output only the YouTube video ID alright so let's try to solve this through uh, think about it what do we have to do look it's always better to first uh, define a function that can that can do a job write the program in Python programming language in the form of functions only alright so as as always I try to explain each and every part of program so first we have to we have to understand what a function is so function is defined necessarily by def alright then you can name the function for example you can you can type uh, sum and this this function takes two arguments let's say a and b and then you can say that once these two arguments are received return a plus b now we have defined the function once I use this function sum and I tell the arguments are 5 and let's say 10 so once I use this function and I run the program alright so answer is indeed 15 so this is what uh, this is what a function does it reduces your effort so suppose if you want to use this function again somewhere you can use this function alright 
so this is what what a general concept of a function is so I always recommend that uh, you know um, write your programs in the form of functions only so let's define a function here define a function here I let's let's name that function YouTube link and it this function takes only one argument that argument is going to be the uh, URL link of the YouTube video all right now what we are expecting that either we are going to receive a, f a input of this format or we are going to receive a input of this format so let's think about it if this format is received the uniqueness about this format is that there is a uh, there is a is equals to uh, sign in this in this format which is not necessarily uh, in this format all right so if we receive uh, the first format as input there is a um, there is a uh, there is a is equals to sign in this in this format so let's define if if is equals to sign in x so this function will receive the uh, URL of the YouTube video and it will ask if is equals to sign is in this uh, YouTube video URL then X you will understand this in a while X list is equals to is split it is split the uh, YouTube um, URL where you will be able to find this is equals to all right so what does what does this line means I have to explain you this line all right so let's let's explain this line let's make a uh, let's make a variable X and assign it to a string by the name of uh, string is equals to one two three so this is a string all right now let's apply the same philosophy here if is equals to in x x list is equals to x dot split is equals to and then return x print x list it will be better print x list all right let's run this program all right so what this program has done necessarily let's clear it all up first all right so let's run this program again let's run this program once again all right so we have assigned uh, a variable x to a string and the value of that string is string is equals to one two three then we have uh, used the logic if is equals to sign in x in this x create a create at the point where there is is equals to sign break this this string into a list and uh, where there is is equals to sign the breaking point should be that all right so once I split this variable at is equals to uh, you will be able to notice that uh, a string is one item of this list and one two three is another item I can change this uh, into if two in X is split at two so necessarily this list will output this as one part and this as a, another part let's let's do it if you can see so you can convert a, a string into a list uh, with this split uh, with this split method all right so uh, this is essentially what we are doing here let's try to copy this this part
let's try to copy this part here what do I expect it to do if is equals to in AX is split at is equals to all right so let's clear it all up we expect this this portion of the program to take this string and break this at this point at this is equals to point so let's see whether it does that or not of course it is it is it is taking this string and then converting into this into a list with two indexes uh, one of them is uh, the unique ID and one of them is that uh, common URL alright so let's go back this is essentially what we have applied here alright let's go back alright so one part of the problem is solved uh, but what about uh, if we receive the input in this second shortened format now we can say else if is equals to not in x what if it's not in x then uh, x list the same variable it will be divided x lit split on the forward slashes all right so this 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 youtube url will be divided into one portion will be this another portion would be this and another portion would be this and there will be a another portion somewhere here let's try to use this logic here on this sample program if is equals to not in x split it at the forward slashes all right split it at the forward slashes let's try to print this all right so as you can see https is one part of this list lab the another part is somewhat empty the third portion is this u2 u2.be and the last portion is what we wanted which is uh, the video unique id so in both cases we are able to extract the unique id so uh, um, the intention of the program is done once this if else loop is done one thing i forgot i have to type return remember once i type this return statement uh, I have to extract this negative the position at negative 1 return X list and whatever return me whatever is at index 1 what does this mean it, it means this print X list at minus 1 so this one is minus 1 this one is at index minus 1 this one is at index minus 2 this one is at index minus 3 this one is at index minus 4 so in both cases I want the index at minus 1 all right and once <coughs> this return this return statement is executed the program comes out of the function all right so let me tell you on this sample program as you can see once I ran this program it never it never showed the entire list it showed only the portion or uh, whatever the value was at minus one index all right so now since our function has been completed one important aspect of this program is to take the input from the user so let's let's let us uh, define a variable link and ask it that it's input and let's say enter your YouTube URL video link all right and we can say now once this is done print YouTube link and the argument will be this 
this variable now let's try to execute this program first I will clear it all up from this side now I personally believe the program is completed let's let's run this program alright so it's asking me for the YouTube video URL let's copy this one alright so it has indeed extracted this part and uh, returned it here let's try to run this program once again but before doing that I, sh I personally believe we have to write the video link the video ID is and then you can clearly alright so let's run this program again uh, this time I will copy this shortened version I will type it here enter yes the youth the video ID has now changed alright so uh, this is a concept uh, you know while while solving problem in Python programming language you will be able to learn how to solve the problem and you will be able to learn the syntaxes of uh, of Python as well all right uh, see you soon uh, like share subscribe these are my social media handles highly recommend you to follow them and uh, so you will be able to learn a lot of, a lot and I will be honestly able to learn a lot from you guys